Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. This video is going to be the first in a series of videos where we show different hardware configurations and show how the actual gameplay performance is in VR. This particular machine is a i7-4790K CPU with 16 gigabytes of RAM running Windows 10 Home. And the GPU on this machine is a GeForce uh, GTX 970. And this is an EVGA model that has been super clocked. So it's running at about 1300 megahertz instead of uh, 1100 1, megahertz, uh, which is the, the normal for the 970. So it's a little faster than stock, but not super fast. This is pretty much a min spec rig. The CPU is a little bit better than min spec, and I believe the RAM is a little bit better. But the 970 is a min spec card. It's only got four gigabytes of VRAM. You know, it's. For all intents and purposes, it's a pretty much min-spec rig. The game that we're going to be using for testing in this video is The Climb, and Isaac is going to demonstrate that game now. So let's go ahead and boot that up. All right, now we've spent some time analyzing the settings in The Climb, and what we've found works the best. Like, our goal is to get the highest quality gameplay experience without getting any frame rate lag. So we want, um, you know, over 90 FPS, we want it to be very playable, but we want to try to get the most visually appealing uh, gameplay performance that we can get, or experience that we can get. So the settings that we've chosen for that after experimentation, uh, we're going to show you those here in a second. And we're recording this with a Elgato HD60, so uh, the gameplay recording is not impacting gameplay performance in any way. Uh, it's a completely external uh, recording rig. So I've got a, a MacBook Pro and an external hard drive and everything's you know, being recorded via the, uh, the HD60. So completely off offloading the recording. All right, so these are our initial settings. We've got uh, resolution scale, which is the same thing as super sampling. We've got that set to 1.0, so normal resolution quality. Shadow quality, we could bump that with the 970 all the way up to high, and it still works. SSDO, which is a, a, an improved shadow quality. Uh, I believe it gives you like colors in your shadows. SSDO is off. We can't turn that on. Uh, distant object optimization is checked, and anti-aliasing is off. So let's, let's see what that gameplay experience looks like, Isaac. So this is the, the bay. This is like the, uh, the very first scene, I believe. Yes. And uh, it, it looks great with these settings. So we're just looking around. And what we're looking for is the frame rate warning indicator. And we're not seeing it. Uh, go ahead and look down at those rocks down below you, Isaac. Yeah. And we'll just do a, a, a little mini climb here to show you that everything's working without any frame rate hiccups. Yeah, it all looks pretty good. This is a very visually appealing game. It's one of our favorites. OK, and then let's, uh, let's go back to the menu. We're just going to try a couple of permutations of these settings to show you what happens on the 970 when you try to bump things up. Let's turn on anti-aliasing. And I want to I talk about this for a second. We're going to go back into the same scene. Now, it's probably not vi uh, visible in the video. But we saw that frame rate warning there. We're going to get that. Uh, what anti-aliasing does is it kind of makes things a little blurrier. So for non-text, uh, it's going to make, like, I think Isaac said that this, this uh, ledge, this rock ledge right here, looks a little bit better, maybe, questionably, with anti-aliasing turned on. But when he looks at the back of his gloves here, is the, is the text blurrier there? Yeah, so the text is blurrier. So if you want crisp, clear text, don't turn on anti-aliasing. OK, so we're going to turn that off. And uh, we're not going to mess with distant object optimization. We're going to ignore that for the purpose of this video. Uh, we can't turn on SSDO. Go ahead and bump the resolution scale. And we're just going to prove that bumping it just a little bit uh, ruins the gameplay experience. Go ahead, look around. You'll get, there we go, low FPS, 45 FPS, kills the frame rate. Now, on a, on a beefier GPU, we will be able to bump the, uh, the resolution. And what that does is it makes everything a little crisper. 
So right now when he's looking at his glove, he's just getting the default render. Well, he's getting slightly improved rendering. And it, does it look a little better than it did before, Isaac? Definitely. Okay, definitely. So, uh, but this card is not capable of handling higher than 1.0 um, in, in this game. You know, this, this will change for every game. Like certain games will be able to handle it and certain ones won't, but we're, we're using the climb for this example. All right, so we're gonna turn off resolution scale. Now we're actually gonna lower our resolution and our shadow quality. We're gonna lower our resolution to 80% uh, resolution, and we're gonna lower our shadow quality to off. 80 is the lowest. Yeah, 80 is the lowest. And then we're gonna play uh, the icebreaker map. And in this map, no matter what we do on the 970, we cannot get a decent frame rate. We're looking around, and there we go, low FPS. So even though the 970 is a min-spec card, you're still going to get low FPS in some of the levels in the climb. It's especially bad whenever you look at your hands. Especially bad when you look at your hands. Okay, cool. All right, so just to give you an idea what the shadow quality looks like on different settings, you know, why would you want to bump up shadow quality? What, is that, what does that provide you from a user experience perspective? Is this, uh, is this low or high? Low. This okay, low. so this is low shadow quality. Go ahead and turn it off. Okay, off? Yeah, uh, completely off. off. Okay, that's with shadow quality off. How do, you, how do you feel? Like, does it feel less immersive when it's off? That definitely doesn't look as immersive. Everything is way brighter. Like, it, it's way brighter and it's kind of flat looking, right? Yeah, yeah, like this used to be darker. Uh, this used to like have some more detail. Your hands used to put a shadow right. on the wall. That up there, it was definitely darker. You, you really... Oh, graphics. <laughs> that, that's a bug. Yeah, we've got some sort of a weird graphics glitch going uh, on with this card. Okay. You, you really want shadows on and you want them to be in high quality. It looks really nice whenever you've got shadows, but uh, min-spec cards sometimes can't handle great shadow detail. So go ahead and uh, bump up the shadow quality to high, Isaac. That used to look really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do medium shadow quality. All right, so this is medium shadow quality, and that part is a little darker, I think. That used to be way brighter. Show, show the hands on the wall. Yeah, you can see some ray casts there. See, so the, the shadow for the hand, it, does it look a little bit more, more crisp in this detail it, setting? It used to look like a circle right, right there. Right. It definitely looks better. A little crisper. It, that, hold up. That looks way better, too. You can see all the, the shadows have changed. Um, yeah. Up there looks better. All right, so let's switch over to high-quality shadows. All right, and stick your hand out against that wall there. Look at how crisp that shadow is now. Yeah, that's cool. Looks great. Looks good. And then there's more, a little bit more detail like right here on the rocks. It really makes like the 3D objects pop. Yeah. Now you're getting a frame rate warning. Why are you getting a frame rate warning? I don't know. What did we change? I is it is it just because you bent down to look at that? Yeah, I think it was me looking down. That's so strange. So it looks like the 970 has trouble with high shadow detail even in, in the basic scene here. Yeah, like if you get too close to stuff. Okay. Let's look at... Oh, uh, we're, we're getting... We're getting... Go back to the settings menu. Let's see if we have something else turned on real quick. 1.0, high, off. Hmm. That's strange. Yeah. It wasn't doing that earlier. It was working for us earlier, but now it's given us trouble. So, I mean, that's fine, though. Like, that just goes to show that the 970 may not be able to handle high shadow quality in the default scene. So, yeah. all right. So now uh, the next step is we're going to tear this machine apart. We're going to take out the 970. We're going to put in a 980 Ti, and we're going to do all of this all over again so that you can see the difference. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.